Good morning, everyone. I hope you've been having a fantastic day. We are just sitting down for lunch in our house. We're having spaghetti and meatballs, which Chell has never had before, so I'm oddly excited. I don't know. <laughs> apple, apple. She just wants her apple. I don't know why I'm so excited, but I always see like videos of kids eating spaghetti and meatballs and it's adorable. Uh, they're usually like longer and like messy though. That's true. But this is like a delicious, smaller, like I, I've, already, I've already taken a bite and it's like fantastic. We had some turkey meatballs in the fridge and we had spaghetti, but we did not have any spaghetti sauce. So I threw together a little of everything in the kitchen to make the spaghetti sauce. So yeah, it's not super messy but it's still pretty tasty, apparently. You like it? She doesn't seem to want to use her fork, but that's, that's okay, as long as she eats. I'm really enjoying actually just sitting here with Corey and Shell eating lunch. Like, it sounds like such a simple thing, but Corey has been working so hard for such a long time that we haven't really had family meal time. It's not like we're discussing anything or making any plans, we're just, all sitting at the same table and it's really nice. We've started putting Chell at the end of the table because when she was sitting where Corey is sitting now, she would like kick and rock back and forth and almost like tip her chair over. But at the end, there's nothing she can get her feet to, so she can't do that. You gonna watch yourself be silly? Eat your spaghetti. You gotta pick it up. I turned the camera on because like she started picking the bowl up and I was like, uh oh, this is gonna be really funny or really bad or both. Oh! Apple! Apple, apple. <laughs> apple, apple. Mama, help. Okay. Here you go. Nice clean apple. <laughs> I don't know why she keeps putting it in there. <laughs> she puts it in there and then gets this look on her face like, oh man, but you just keep putting it in the cup. So we have finished up lunch and Chell and I are getting out of the house. I am so tired of being stuck in this house working. So we are gonna go to Oxley Nature Center, which is kind of a cool area in Tulsa that has lots of hiking trails and foresty stuff. I haven't been there since I was a kid probably. So I really don't remember it. But Chell and I and you guys are gonna discover it together. So we have made it to the nature center. So far it seems like there's a lot of plants there's this interpretive building, so I'm not really sure what that's gonna be, but we're gonna discover it all. Chell seems to be enjoying herself already, just touching all the plants. She has figured out that her shoes light up. These shoes, for those of you who have been watching us for a while, you'll remember I bought these before she was even born. And I was so worried that I would forget we had them by the time she got old enough to wear them. So I was like, guys, you have to remind me. Someone on Twitter, and I just so sorry, I can't remember who, but someone on Twitter actually reminded me to pull these out of the closet, so thank you. I like this building already, there's air conditioning. They have this really cute little like tree house area. I think it's actually just some stairs that go upstairs, but they made it this awesome thing for kids and Chell's just wandering around climbing through stuff. What a cool tunnel, Chell. Help. You got it. You like the paintings on the wall? This is actually very, very cool. They have like a big mural and it continues on the floor. There's like a turtle painted over there and little paw prints there. It's very neat. Maybe we need to do this to your room, huh? At least the room under the stairs, right? Looky there, Chell. Those are bees. See the bees? Wow. What do bees do? What do bees say? Bzz. Yeah. It's cool. It's like an actual beehive they have in there for them, and they can go outside through that hole that everybody gets to see the bees. Wow. Bees. What do bees say? Here. Here I'm going. Bzz. Wow. 
Joe, look at the bees. They're making honey. Wow, there's so many bees. I had no idea there were like that many bees in one hive. So the young bees are in these white cells and they're like the babies. I don't really, you can't see any in there, but some of them have opened up. And then there's the honey and all the bees here are like the worker bees. It's so cool to watch. This is so cool. Like look at all of the trails they have. So many trails and a little lake a river, lots to explore. We're just gonna check out this trail closest to the parking lot because we're here. My bet is that Chell's just gonna love being outside and walking, thank you. Checking out all the cool stuff. Let's go. Oh, you want him back? <laughs> so I took my sunglasses off and like put them on my head and do you guys ever have this problem when you take your sunglasses off? The little like ear piece or nose piece gets stuck and it pulls your hair. It is not very fun. First cool thing, airplanes. There's like two big jets. Wow, they're doing some cool stuff. And then there was that smaller plane too. There's a really small like private airport that we passed driving here. So that plane must have been going there. But yeah, she's gonna love this place. It has airplanes. Done deal. The cutest thing with her in airplanes is that whenever she sees them and we ask her what a plane says, she still goes Because that's what the planes did in Alaska, isn't it? Yeah, they don't really do that so much here. We don't have a lot of prop planes in Oklahoma, but in Alaska, that's the noise they made. Okay, put it down a little bit. I see your belly button. Chell has started doing this thing where she like pulls up her shirt and goes, belly button! I may or may not have taught it to her, but I feel really bad for teaching that to her because she pulls her shirt like all the way up. I know she's a little kid and it's okay, but it's just kind of like, okay, not so much. So we found a nice shady spot to take a little break. We got some blueberries to snack on and some water because apparently Oklahoma is hot in the summer. It is super hot out here. It's probably only in the 80s, but the humidity, oh, it makes it feel so much hotter than it is. Mm. Thank you. Uh, I got two. You can't have them back. Once they go in mama's mouth, they're mama's. Mm, thank you. Chella's become like more and more fascinated with watching people chew. She went through that phase before she was ready for solids, but I think now that she's getting her back teeth in, she's back in that phase because she's got the biting down, but the chewing, that's something that she can do more and more now that she has more teeth back there. We made it back home and Chell pretty much ate and then was ready to go to bed. Um, I think the nature center and going on that little hike and seeing all this stuff was just, I don't know, about as much excitement as she could handle. She was pretty worn out when we got home. I think it's the heat. I think that's what it is. When it's so hot outside, it just kind of drains your body. So I think both Chell and I are kind of suffering from that. Corey is still working super, super hard on the Big Mean Kitty song. He came out of his office for dinner but then he went straight back up. I'm super excited for this weekend because Saturday is when the Big Mean Kitty song comes out and after that, he's gonna take some time off. I am also excited because this weekend, I'm gonna take Chell to the gym. I am super stoked to get back to the gym, but I'm gonna take Chell with me because they have swim lessons. If you remember, we tried to give her swim lessons when we lived in Alaska, but she was just so little and the pool wasn't super heated that she just like started turning blue and it was just too cold in there and she couldn't take it. She could stay in the pool for like maybe five to seven minutes and then that was all she could take. I'm really, really, really excited for her to have swim lessons. She loves the water so much. Okay, I'm just going on and on because I'm so excited. I will stop. It's gonna be really fun to take her to swim lessons. We have a lot of fun stuff planned for the month of October and just some fun family time for the rest of this month. I mean, once Corey's video comes out, it's just like, 
family days. So I'm really looking forward to that. If you guys aren't subscribed, be sure you do subscribe and ring the little bell next to the subscribe icon so you get notifications. That way you won't miss out on any of the cool stuff we're doing. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight. I think I'm gonna make myself a big old bowl of ice cream, relax for a while, get to work, clean house, then sleep. I will see you guys in the next one. I think we might vlog all weekend. Since we missed a couple days this week, this might be like a weekend full of vlogs. It's gonna be a big weekend, so we might as well. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you, Pelter. Mm. Thank you. I swear I drink so much backwash, like so much more backwash. All finished?